All right, so I have always had a difficult time remembering hemoglobin and hematocrit. But I have found a way for myself to remember it. It is not the easiest, but it works. So if you just open up to the idea of this mnemonic, then it may work for you as well. Here we go. So when it comes to hemoglobin and hematocrit, if you count the letters in these um, words, then it adds up to tens. So I know that these ranges are going to fall in the tens place, right? It's going to have ten ranges, not hundreds, not ones, but tens, right? And the next thing to d determine when it comes to hemoglobin and hematocrit is which lab is higher than the other. When I look at hematocrit, it has crit in it. And I think of crit as critical. And when it comes to critical, you know that critical is something serious. So therefore, I'm going to assume that hematocrit is the more serious lab. So therefore, it's going to have a higher range and value than hemoglobin. So I'm going to use the whole idea of the ten, tens value place. All right, so I know that hemoglobin is going to have tens range. All right, so we're going to write it in. Ten. We don't know that yet. Ten. Ten places. All right. If you look at this, the next step is easy, but you're going to have to remember it. Okay, so with females, females have two letters in it, right? And my mom always taught me to let females go first. So therefore, we're going we're gonna to go by twos. All right, so we're going to do two, four, six, eight. There you have it. You have hemoglobin for male and female. 14 to 18, 12 to 16. All right, now we're going to go with hematocrit. We know that it's still in the tens, but we're not sure uh, which tens is going to be like. If it's going to be 20, 30s, 40, 50s, 60s. All right, so we're just going to draw blank spaces right here. All right. There you go. And then the range. Okay. So this part is going to get a little tricky. Right? We're looking at hematocrit, and remember we was talking about critical earlier, so we're going to draw a circle around critical. And when I see hematocrit, and if you say really fast, hemat, 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 hematocrit, hemat, hemat. See, so he's mad, right? So I'm going to write out a sentence, he is mad. Alright, he is mad. And how does this, you know, have anything to do with these ranges? You'll see. Okay. So, crit, right? Crit has four letters, right? Four letters. He met, he met. That's, that's how we got he is mad, right? He met, right? He met has how many letters? One, two, three, four, five. Five, right? So we got right here four, and we got five right here. Four and five, right? Okay, so down here, what do you have? Mad, right? Mad is three letters, right? And he, he is what? He is two letters. You see that? All right, so now we're going to use those values. We're going to plug it in. All right, so we're going to start with crit because hemo crit, that's the main thing, critical, right? So we're going to put four right here, right? We're going to put four, and we know that it's 10, so it's, something's going to be right here. All right, and then right here, we're going to put five, 40 to 50, some range be between that, right? And then 
usually with, you know, um, blood values, complete blood count, the, the, the male always have a higher range than the females. So down here, we're going to go with 30. Right, we're going to go with 30. And 30, we're just going to increase it up. Right, it's because it can't be 30, 60, right? Or 30, 50 or else it's going to be the same as the male. So it's going to be 30, 40. All right. Now this is the final piece of the puzzle. Okay, so this is what you do. All right, so the, for the first part, you got he, right? He, for the first part. So you just go ahead and bring the two over here, two. All right, and he is mad. So let's put, let's count all this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, there you go. So all this right here, all these letters, make seven. So you're going to go over here and put seven in. There you have it. It's very long, but if you follow the whole mnemonic, then you'll be able to remember it. Thank you.